This is Dr. Terrence Baker, your host, Doctors in the House. Today, we're going to talk about health care in Ukraine. The hospital system in Ukraine has been under tremendous stress even before the COVID crisis. The hospital system faced a high rate of HIV and AIDS infections, one of the highest rates in Eastern Europe. Also, Ukraine was faced prior to the SARS pandemic with a high rate of multi-drug resistance. In previous shows, we've talked about the fact that multi-drug antibiotic resistance is causing a huge problem, not only for countries like Ukraine, uh, but through many of the poverty-stricken nations of Africa and Europe. And so the Ukrainian hospitals often found themselves short of antibiotics and supplies uh, to care for a growing body of patients. Before SARS-CoV-2, the hospital system was defined by the World Health Organization and others as being in critical condition. In 2015, government officials began a reform which appeared to be making a real difference. In fact, over the next two or three years, hospitals and physicians reported an increasing rate of satisfaction with the uh, hospital system and the way in which it was being managed and supported uh, by uh, the government. And then, unfortunately, in 2019 and early 2020, along came the SARS pandemic. The hospital system was already suffering with high prices, reduced availability of medications, overcrowding, uh, inadequate staff, inadequate training, inadequate supplies, inadequate uh, ambulance Uh, emergency medicine uh, pickup services, uh, and along comes the pandemic. Uh, The pandemic uh, has resulted in five surges in Ukraine since the onset in late uh, 2019, early 2020. Currently, Ukraine has some good news in that the current rate of infection has been reduced by 30% over recent weeks. The last data was collected February 23rd, just before invasion by Russian troops occurred on the 24th. It appears that Ukraine in general has done better than many other uh, European, Eastern European nations. Ukraine has about 4.8 million infections, Uh, Whereas if you look at the Netherlands, it's 6.3 million. You look at Spain, 11 million. Look at Italy, 12.8 million. Germany, 14.9 million. Uh, Russia, uh, 26 million. Uh, England, 18.9 million. And so Ukraine has done well in controlling the rate of infection uh, compared to other Eastern European nations. Also, the deaths in Ukraine, currently about 105,000, has been lower than other Eastern uh, European nations. Poland at 111.8 thousand deaths, Germany at 12.3 thousand deaths, uh, 155,000 in Italy, 161.6 percent deaths in England. And so Ukraine has managed to uh, treat its patients, treat its population in a manner that has kept the death rate and the infection rate lower than many other neighboring Eastern European nations. However, a new surge is likely given that supplies during this war effort of mass
Also, the World Health Organization has recently announced two new mutants, which seem to be quite infectious uh, and are spreading around the world, including Eastern Europe. Today, the hospital system of Ukraine and the major cities is under siege. Hospitals have been bombed. Uh, citizens are being injured in record numbers uh, as uh, the Ukrainian citizens have taken to the street to join with the military forces uh, to repel the Russian attack. This is leading to increasing numbers of Ukrainian injuries and deaths, uh, far more than the hospital system uh, can care for. Also, vital supplies of dressings and bandages and surgical supplies and oxygen uh, are being reported. If you are able, we recommend that you look to the Ukrainian Crisis Relief Fund by Global Giving, the International Rescue Committee, Save the Children, RASM for Ukraine, and the International Red Cross as organizations that are attempting to meet this growing need for medical supplies uh, and staff, because also the hospitals are facing a tremendous staff shortage as hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians have uh, attempted to flee the nation, uh, and uh, some of those are healthcare workers that are vital uh, to operating the hospitals and clinics that, uh, that remain open. Our prayers are with Ukraine and the people of Ukraine uh, as the days of war go forward. This is Dr. Terrence Baker coming to you from the Studio One of NABN-TV, Doctors in the House. Thank you.